Hello guys and welcome to another video of mine. This time I will be talking about FPS and how to get more. So <clears throat> this will be beginner level. There will be advanced level later on, but this is only the beginner. So for absolute beginners, by pressing Ctrl F, it will hide the characters and you will get a lot more FPS in dungeons and everywhere. But anyway, <clears throat> have you guys seen the videos on YouTube where there is like a guy telling how to get more FPS and you look at the video and it's recorded at 360p, 20 FPS and even in game he's having like 30 FPS at most and he's telling how to get more FPS. Now, if you look at the quality of this video and my FPS and all that, uh, you should trust me how to get more FPS. Just wail on a computer. No, no, no. It's all about settings. Of course, computer matters, but settings matters a lot as well. First of all, <clears throat> limit frame rate. Just put that to maximum 120. Now, I, I do realize mine's a zero, but I will talk about that more on the advanced video. But yeah, these should be the settings, because right now it's jumping about around the uh, 110 FPS. If I put everything to one, well, I guess I got almost, almost 10% more FPS, but that's quite low. So these are really useful in dungeons and the game doesn't look absolute trash when you have this on 5. The texture makes the game look way better. <clears throat> so those are the settings that I use and frequently asked what I'm using. Also, when you are setting these for the first time, make sure you put everything to 5 and then back to 1 and hit apply again. And then you put the usual settings and apply again. Now, reason why you should be doing this is that this game is so horribly coded that it sometimes changes the settings randomly. Like it could be looking something like this, but you don't know it because it will be still giving you the numbers that everything is on one. When in reality it's all kinds of mess, especially if you change between characters or you use different account, for example. Like you can see the FPS, it's horribly low. And how to fix this when you don't see those are like that? Apply to all, 5. And then back to 1. And then it will be fixed. If you have sudden drop in performance, you're used to having higher FPS and it drops, just try that trick. Usually that helps for me. And then if you have like really low end PC, you can try to use optimize for combat. And then you go in default settings and optimize for low end PC. Game will look absolutely horrible, but your FPS will go up. Like right now it's 150 FPS. That's okay gain, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, even for higher PC users that might give you some nice extra FPS for raids where your FPS is going way down. Game will look horrible, but at least it's playable. And then everywhere else you will be using the normal settings. So that's how the that's the beginner level. The next video will be about advanced level, how to get more FPS. But I will demonstrate in this video why even GTX 970 is enough for this kind of FPS that I'm having. Like really old graphics card, it's still enough. And if you're having older processor, what I'm having, which is like pretty much all the processor at the moment, 
because mine is the newest and the best gaming processor, apparently. So even having something like 960, even that might be enough. <clears throat> but yeah, here my FPS is going to like almost 400. And here's how I'm gonna demonstrate this. It's almost 400 with normal settings. But when I put it on absolute minimum, I limit the power to 45% and put the clocks lower. Now this is equal to 970. And I'm still getting about 400 FPS. Even with just half of the power what my graphics card can do. And my graphics card is like three years old at the moment. So even low end graphics card is more than enough because usually you are obviously not gonna have 400 FPS anyway. So yeah. Settings matters, really simple settings, with those alone you should get higher FPS and might fix some sudden performance loss. But yeah, next video will be advanced and I will explain how I will be getting more than 120 FPS, that's the normal limit. So yeah, remember to subscribe and don't miss that video. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.